welcome this is the energy vibration lesson for um the water people for the um, pisces cancer and scorpio i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring i want to say thank you so much for a wonderful positive energy vibration and a good alignment for the energies ladies and gentlemen this is the full moon energies for the month of november remember these regions are timeless for your extended reading use the link below as we do that what we do is transform the energies around us and in us and uh, um, with these reading it doesn't really matter when the timeline when you pick this reading up it still helps um, so always because these are timeless okay so um, you will pick it up some people will uh, go for it direct and some people can find it go and check out the full moon reading from last year and see how that will help you we're first going to look at in general at all the houses then we're going to be looking at the sun people then we're going to be looking at the moon people okay so let's get with it ladies and gentlemen in the first house you have luck with in um with yourself you're finding balance second house you find your true note third house i'm seeing a healing coming in for people in your environment luck is with the family whatever is transparent so that is good um unexpected situation is coming up in the fifth house in the sixth house you're going to be finding that this is where you belong okay so it's at home transition coming up in your relationship um new love is coming in transition coming up in your relationship new love is coming in i'm seeing you having success abroad um i'm seeing secrets um in your repetition so when secrets fall in your repetition is that you're cheating okay and here you can see this new love coming up in the cheating zone also okay and then we have saturn coming in where something is going to be leaving your life okay so whatever it is i'm seeing some of you who are cheating you are going to be found out okay whatever is transpiring if you're cheating you're going to be found out whatever is transpiring you're cheating you're going to be found out okay so i'm seeing um some of you um luck with a taurus whatever the issue is in the situation luck is coming up with a taurus for some of you in your financial section your your you pisces are going to be finding your true note in your financial so if your pisces wasn't having financial stability now it's going to be happening aquarians and aquarians as uh, um created issues around you guys and uh, that is in your environment people situation that is going to be healed luck and new love is coming in for you pisces i've done these reading like four times and i'm seeing this new love coming in for you pisces in the house of passion you are having um a new friend this is a virgo whoever this person is i'm seeing you having a new friend this is a virgo at the work floor there is an aries um at the work floor and you're finding out that this aries is where your true note um begins at the work floor because you're having issues with an aries i see that in the um aries reading so some of you are going to be having issues with the aries now um i'm seeing that uh, whatever is happening the sagittarius um there's conflicts between you and a sagittarius if you're in a relationship with a sagittarius there's conflicts between you and a sagittarius i'm seeing you connecting with a gemini in love so whoever you are i'm seeing people out there connecting with a gemini in love pis the um uh, some of you are going to have success uh, against a scorpion um overseas whoever the scorpion is and whatever the scorpion has done i'm seeing you having success against this person secrets um about legal issue reputation a, a libra and some secrets people are cutting through whatever is going on okay i'm seeing some of your moving against us out of your life for, for once and for all and i'm seeing the capricorn saturn is moving a capricorn out of your life so wow um i'm seeing the capricorns are really really having there is an effect that is coming in where the capricorn whatever the issue the situation is i'm seeing the effect of uh, you are deciding because uh, um the capricorns could be bringing you um because this is where capricorns and saturn so capricorn and saturn is bringing balance in your world you pisces 
So this is the the um, the house of the Pisces, and I'm seeing Cap um, Capricorn and Saturn is bringing balance in your world. Okay, so if you were a little bit out of balance and uh, off cast, I'm seeing um, Capricorn is going to be coming in with with discipline in your world. Okay, and this is going to be good. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, ladies and gentlemen. Um, um, a whole lot is transpiring because I'm seeing um, here Venus. Um, Venus is in the intimacy with a Gemini. So um, some of you could be connecting with a Gemini. So go check out your on your extended reading to see who are you that is connecting with a Gemini. Because I'm seeing um, some of you are going to be connecting with a Gemini. This is in the house of the Scorpion. So some of you Scorpion could be falling in love with a Gemini. So this is the house of the Scorpion. Um, you Scorpion are going to be falling in love with a Gemini. Then we're seeing the energy of you cancers you cancers are definitely um finding a new love you're going to be finding and in love with a leo and you're going to be finding out because cancers have this um this is this is really the energy because i've done these readings like four times because um the volume on my camera wasn't doing it but wasn't doing it but this is the fourth time and it's the same thing that falls november November 7 November 15 till December 15 this is what fall for you guys in your house you cancer so you are going to be meeting someone new and this person is who you're going to be finding and having luck with okay so for the the Pisces I'm seeing Capricorns coming in your house and Capricorns are going to be helping you now the energy in the self I'm seeing some of you letting go of a situation with a, a, a Taurus I don't know who you are but it's as if uh, you're um, you have been um, mulling and mulling and mulling and mulling over your head about the Taurus and you're finally going to let this thing go so whatever it is that you are mulling and mulling over and over and over in your head about uh, a um, Taurus this is now over then in uh, money I'm seeing Pisces you are going to be finding your true north in your money section true um, you're definitely going to be finding your new north balance is going to be coming in your world and the Pisces are here so you are definitely going to find your true north for the rest of you it's going to be balancing out things are going to be balancing out unexpected luck where a lot of you your financial stability is going to be balanced out if it was rocky you're going to realize this is what i want to do this is where i am this is how i'm making my money okay then we see in um your environments um whoever um there was an um an Aries that you were dealing with in your environment that has been working against you whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening I am definitely definitely seeing that a healing is coming in with an, an Aries and a, a water sign in your environment of your work and and in around and in your world okay um then I'm seeing the energy of again you can so so fall in love new love is coming in I am seeing some of you could be getting married the rest of you could be getting married or choosing to be in this one relationship for the rest of your life okay then I'm seeing the energy of the Virgos whatever the energy of the Virgos is I'm seeing um, an unexpected news coming in um, a Virgo could be helping you unexpectedly without knowing a Virgo is going to be helping you out and not even knowing I see that this Virgo see the deceptiveness that has transpired on the work floor some of you are dealing with an Aries and you're seeing um, that it's not going to be working out between you and this Aries and I'm thinking that you guys are thinking about getting rid of this Aries so whoever and whatever is transpired I'm definitely seeing that you guys are thinking about getting rid of an Aries because it's not working out on the work floor then we have uh, um, eruptions in relationship especially a Sagittarius is going to create some interruption in a relationship whatever the issue is and the situation is I'm seeing a Sagittarius trying to create some eruption in a relationship okay then we have Venus um, so scorpions are going to be falling in love with a Gemini um, most of you scorpions and most people in the intimate section of your life you could be meeting a Gemini and falling in love with Gemini um, that's where now overseas uh, or 
you know in the environment if you were you scorpion whatever the issue is that you were dealing with overseas um there could be some success but it depends on if you're a sun person or a moon person um the moon persons are going to be having issues with their reputation whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring i'm seeing the moon people having um issues with reputation okay in the house the 11th house I'm seeing some of you coming to the edge and you're letting go and Pluto is coming to remove a cancer out of your life Pluto is coming in to remove a cancer out of your life um, um, the Pisces or um, the Capricorns are coming in the um, the house of the Pisces and the Pi the Capricorns are going to be bringing discipline to your world whatever is happening whatever is transpiring I am seeing the Pisces just bringing discipline to your world okay whatever the issue is and the situation is I'm seeing a Pisces is going to be bringing a Capricorn is going to be bringing in discipline in your world okay so let's see what is transpiring so we're moving on to see um, the Sun people the people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. what is happening so in the uh, the first house there is uh, um there is some um, deceptiveness okay I'm seeing you dealing with someone on the work floor you gotta be careful there is conflicts in your financial area there is peace coming in in your environment there's long-term stability coming in with a family um, I'm seeing deceptiveness that is playing out uh, you have someone who you're connected with that is a Virgo and unexpected this person is very deceptive okay the snake is there then I'm seeing a resolution for a situation on the work floor then I'm seeing a situation with home that it could be that um, uh, um, it, um, people are um, changing homes okay I'm seeing money coming in so um, money is in the intimate area so I'm seeing friendship help but financial help is going to be coming in I'm seeing emotional issues with a scorpion you scorpions have some emotional issue dealing with situation outside I'm seeing a legal issue lies and deception you're stressed out from a legal issue I am seeing that a cancer overseas is trying to do some deceptive things but they are going to be moved out and I'm seeing a Capricorn coming in for the Pisces and it's really going to be your friend and support you okay so that's good because I was wondering when I saw um, when I saw the energy for you Pisces uh, um, the Capricorn is coming in as a friend and it's going to be helping you Pisces okay um be careful um there do not be deceptive with a Taurus if you be deceptive some of you are dealing with a Taurus on the work floor and you're kind of sneaky okay the energy of the Fox and you're thinking you could be either you like the Taurus or whatever is going on but there is some sneaky move on the work floor but um, let's see what is this because the energy of the fox comes up energy of the fox comes up secrets conflicts with a man some of you are having some secrets and conflicts with a man in your head whatever is going on whoever that you are be careful of this person because it's all about yourself so there are some sneaky things that is going on be careful then as we look at money I'm seeing conflicts people are having conflicts because uh, conflicts is in the money area you Pisces are having conflicts with money okay it is your true no but whatever is happening to you water sign you're having some conflicts in your materialistic area your money area peace is coming in your environment peace is coming in with an Aquarius um, healing and peace is coming in long-term stability with whoever you are going to and especially you um, um, cancer long-term stability with you whoever is starting a new relationship is going to be long-term stability so whoever is there starting a new relationship is going to be long-term stability now some of you have some friends and some unexpected news is going to be coming out about a friend but this friend is a very very deceived and you're going to see that this person is a third party in your um or um 
if you're in a relationship with a Virgo, um, this Virgo might tell you of a third party in your life that you weren't aware of, or it's going to come out. So whoever is cheating, it's definitely going to be coming out. So if you are like friends with a person and, uh, and then you go to bed with them and that sort of a thing, it's going to come out. Some of you are having some issues on the work floor. This is going to be resolved. Okay. So whatever is happening, some of you are really having some issues on the work floor. It is going to be resolved. I'm seeing it could be ending of relationships if some of you were dealing with a Sagittarian or living with a Sagittarian or married to a Sagittarian. I'm seeing ending of a relationship, whatever is transpiring. I'm seeing this relationship could be ending. Whatever the issues and the situation is, it could be ending. I am seeing that um, you guys and a Gemini are having uh, something to do with money. So you could be paying a Gemini some money, whatever that is transpiring and happening, okay? You could be paying a Gemini some money, you could be divorcing, or you could be paying a Gemini money for sex. Um, some of you were dealing with some emotional situation, Scorpion, and some emotional situation. Now, um, whatever the emotional situation is, you guys are going to be overcoming this. So a scorpion could have done you something, whether you know it or not. A scorpion could have done you something, but you're going to be getting over it because you're going to be successfully getting over it and coming out of it. There are some deceptive things. There are some legal issues, but I'm seeing theft and lies and secret. Theft, lies and secret. Okay theft lies in secret whatever is transpiring but whoever steal from you it's as if they steal from you and it's gonna be gone in no time so legal secrets secrets lies and deceptiveness and a theft okay i'm seeing um some of you are dealing with a cancer abroad or this cancer is going to be leaving leaving um you cancers you got to be careful because um, here it is. Um, you're wherever you are now. You you have to leave. So you cancers, wherever you are now, you have to leave. Um, let's say you were applying to to live someplace. You're not. It's not going to go through. Um, yeah. Here we go. Um, you're in the eleventh house, coming to the edge. Pluto is here because Pluto is rooting you up. So um, if you were thinking about to go overseas and live or you had been transferred to some place that you wanted to stay, you're not going to get to stay. Pluto is removing you. Pluto is making the transformation. Pluto is definitely removing you. Uh, so if you um, you wanted, um, if you Kansas wanted to live someplace or stay someplace, it's not going to happen. Whatever you have done, you have done something and whatever you have done and i'm seeing you trying all the tricks in the book to stay wherever you are but um there are people that has been watching you for quite some time and they're they're like no um there's something false about this person okay so um whatever it is i'm seeing that you are going to be changing because it's not going to be happening okay um let's see um let's see all right so pluto the cancer and uh, traveling pluto the cancer and traveling i'm seeing you traveling back to where you have been stayed. um pluto the cancer yep so cancers you wanted to connect to a family um uh to be honest um, you wanted to um, go visit your family or say visit but um, it's like you you wanted to go visit your family because you wanted to stay somewhere else but it's not gonna happen because um, it's not gonna happen okay and it's not gonna happen um, you were trying to weigh your option it is not gonna happen not gonna happen okay so i'm seeing that um you wanted to stay someplace but you can search and it's in the 11th house and it's affecting you cancers because you fall in the 11th house with brutal all righty in um oh yeah so um 
in the house of the Pisces, um, the house of surrender. Some of you could be surrendering a Capricorn out of your life or a Capricorn is going to come in your life to bring um, discipline. Okay, so whoever this Capricorn is, this Capricorn is a friend that is coming in your life to bring discipline. Whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is, I'm seeing this Capricorn coming in your life to bring discipline, and especially for the, um, this is a house of the Pisces, and this Capricorn is really here bringing you some discipline. Okay, it's a friend. They're coming as a friend, not as an enemy. So the, you're not releasing them. Maybe the, the other signs or releasing the Capricorns but Saturn is coming in and Saturn is going to remove Capricorns out of your world so like if I can say have a situation with a Capricorn they are going to be going back and leaving the Capricorn wherever um, the Capricorn is okay so that is uh, um, going to be good so whatever that is um, um, transpiring that is what is going to be um, happening okay so all right, let's move on and see what is happening for the moon people. So we're asking the angels and guys to show us the energy for the moon people, the water sign moon people. What is happening for the energy of the water sign moon people? What is happening with the energy of the water sign moon people? I'm seeing a TEF, okay? So a TEF comes out, a cancer has done a, a huge TEF. Whatever is transpiring, a cancer has done a, a huge um, TEF. So I'm seeing sun, um, the energy of the sun. So you're going to be feeling good. You, um, you moon people that is born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., you're going to be feeling good about yourself. I'm seeing news is going to be coming in about your materialistic stability, and that is going to be good for the um, for you guys. I'm seeing um, news in your environment is coming in, um, news in your environment over an Elin. So um, an Elin is going to be coming in. Luck is coming in for you, Cancers, with this new love that is going to be coming up. I'm seeing changes with um, with your friends. I'm seeing changes coming up with your friends. I'm seeing luck at work, which is good. Luck is coming up at work. I'm seeing changes. Some of you are going to be ending a relationship with a, a Sagittarius, okay? I'm seeing people in power. I am seeing that the power. I'm seeing um, whoever this, this Gemini is coming up with power, okay? I am seeing the end to a scorpion. Um, definitely the end to a scorpion, whoever the scorpion is. And again, the rat came up in the house of repetition. So there is some deceptiveness. The rat comes up in the house of um, 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 repetition. There is some deceptiveness that is going on. Whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, there is some deceptiveness that is going on. The energy of the rat comes up. I'm seeing a situation with a house where... I'm seeing um, an, an, a deceptive situation and I'm seeing um, you cancers are going to be removed out of her house. I don't know what is happening, cancers, but there's something um, like you're going to be moving, um, moving houses, whatever is happening. You're going to be like moving houses, okay? And I'm seeing a block that is set on this Capricorn. Whoever this Capricorn is, I'm seeing a block set on this Capricorn. Who and whatever, and, and uh, it's as if a Pisces set a block on this Capricorn. So you Pisces, um, it's like the Pisces, the, the Capricorn um, comes in your life. Um, for the Sun people, it's as a friend, but for you people, is that you think that this person place a block on your life okay but it's not let me see what is this block all about uh-huh okay so what this is all about is that there is some deceptiveness some deceptiveness and deceiving things with money um and i see like as if you're blocking this capricorn from whatever but I'm, I'm and Pisces I gotta be um honest you are this is the first time I'm seeing so much deceptive things and whatever is transpiring I'm seeing you blocking this Capricorn and it's someone who you know some of you 
I'm seeing you want to change your mind for this new start. There's a block um, with a house and but you're going to you're going to be working together with um this capricorn i'm seeing a new start okay so you you had some worries about some money a new start with a house there was a block because of deceptiveness then i'm seeing an organization going to give you the go ahead and the yes okay um whatever that was transpiring and happening i don't know why you're black in this capricorn because you know um whatever the, the situation is people you got to be nice to each other because i'm seeing this is a, 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 a pisces person who as a family with a capricorn you want to block the person i mean this person has been always there for you this is kind of sad because this is what they're saying is that why did you do this to this person you 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 put a place a block on this person why did you do this is just um deceptiveness because you are blocking this person because there could be someone else in your life okay so i'm going to be looking at this so is there someone else in this in the life of pisces why they're blocking this capricorn okay no um this Capricorn is just cutting through the bullshit, okay? Um, you feel as if you're carrying the load. This Capricorn is just cutting through the bullshit. An offer is going to be coming in and the worries is going to be over. Because I'm seeing that whoever this person is, I think some of you have been very deceitful, deceptive. I'm seeing um, there is um, a cut. Um, you're just, you know... Um, There's definitely going to be a offer. It's like a Capricorn has put a block between you, them and you because I think this Capricorn is very psychic. They don't, they don't believe you. Um, whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening, they don't believe you. And this, this, this Capricorn is just cutting through all the BS. And then your worries is going to be over. A block is placed on a Capricorn. And I'm thinking that you guys did it. And it's someone who have never done you any harm. It's kind of bad. Whatever. I'm, I'm leaving. Bye. Have a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Enjoy. Whatever that is all about. People, you know, why are you hating on someone? You know, people, whatever. Enjoy.